greater access on seeds of gold. I realized there was potential in goat farming. We speak to Grace Woji, a commercial farmer who buys goats from smallhold farmers in Rakai and resells them at a profit. I started with local goats. They normally call them Mubende goats. I started with around uh, 30 goats. And then after three months, I added more 20 goats. And each goat, I got it at uh, 110. A social worker, a mother, passionate farmer with an inclination to commercial farming of boron cows, savannah, and boar goats. She juggles teaching at Chambogu University with farming both in Mokono and Rakai. She currently has 135 goats of different breeds. This, that goat going, that one, that is a Mubende goat, local, the ones we call local, this one. This is a boa goat I got from Zimbabwe. You see they are climbing the tree. They like being up all the time. You see those two male goats, the way they are standing next to each other. The white ones, one is a savannah and one is a crossover girl. I got it from Kenya. When you cross them with our local goats, you'll get a heavier and taller goat, which is good for beef farmers. This one is short East African and actually most of the farmers are phasing them out of their stock because they rarely grow fat. She is very hands-on and comfortably falls into the farmyard routines of looking after livestock whenever she travels from Kampala. My startup was not an easy one, but I started with a loan from a friend of 5 million shillings. And out of that, I got 2.5 and I sourced for goats from around this sub-county, Chivanda sub-county. And I constructed this structure the way you see it, plus the goat pen at 2.5. I tried to minimize the costs as much as I could because the wood you see around, I got it from within the farm. So I started in 2015, that is 19th December 2015. Salt Leak hangs in one of the simple wooden structures within the goat farm. Open pen is the reserve of the goats whenever they are back from the daytime grazing while the raised pen houses and free range chicken. All these structures are fenced off with wooden poles and planks. The enclosure sits on half an acre of land while grazing fields stretch for over two miles. She began rearing these goats on farm family property back in 19th December 2015. I started with local goats, they normally call them Movende goats. I started with around uh, 30 goats and then after three months I added more 20 goats. And each goat I got it at uh, 110, basically it was 100,000 so I included the 10,000 for the person who was doing the chasing for me to get me the goats to this farm. After getting the 30 goats, I added on more 20 goats progressively because I didn't have enough resources by that time. So I went to Sembable district with the help of a vet. He got me two good billies. These are male goats. I got a boa goat at 800,000. I also got a savannah young goat. I think by that time it was eight months. I got it at 400,000. I brought them here to Rakai, in the, this sub-county, to cross them with this these local goats and that is when my business started growing and growing and growing and this is where I am now. Here is a look at what each breed cost Grace in 2015. 1. Mubende 110,000 Ugandan shillings 2. Savannah 400,000 Ugandan shillings 3. Boar 800,000 Ugandan shillings 4. Gala 650,000 Ugandan shillings. Her other running costs include labor, two herdsmen at 75,000 Ugandan shillings per month, drugs every three months at 50,000 Ugandan shillings, three ear tags at 2,200 Ugandan shillings. I also put mineral blocks as compared to the Tsura, the Lake Catwessel. This has all the kind of uh, the kind of nutrients that goats need. Unlike the impurities, the local salt we normally buy, 
on the market local they call it sula hygiene is also key we sweep this pen every day every day every day that if this pen is not swept every day you find goats having flu they cough they are sickly basically they don't look well it's just like a human being staying in a dirty house you don't feel well i constructed this pen on a raised ground this was an art hill actually what happens they have already told you goats like raised ground they don't like staying where it's dumpy when they urine, urinate somewhere they never stay there they always come here and the good thing about a raised pen that even when they urine, urinate up the, the urine and the droppings normally end up down actually when you come back in the morning the droppings are mostly there they are naturally clean animals she also provides her labor with housing and food off the property a cost which is not tabulated grass crossbreeds movende goats with exotic breeds merging the best of their dna qualities this has given her a breed that packs on more weight thus fetching higher market sales she has a particular pattern to her sales Currently, at this farm, I sell nannies. These are female goats. What I normally do, I sell pregnant goats. They fetch more money as compared to these other male uh, castrates. I sell a female goat which is pregnant between 200,000 to 250, depending on its age, depending on the breed, and depending on even its size. Kampala people want big sizes. So that's what I normally do. And then I also sell male goats to farmers. I sell male goats to farmers. I normally deliver to Kampala. And how do I do that? What I normally do, we select the goats we want to sell. We put them in the crush there. I take nice pictures of them in different angles. I post on all the platforms, the farmers' platforms. We have uh, farmers' what, uh, platforms. I post, I'm selling this goat. 200,000. I'm selling this one 250. People come to my inbox, they start, we start exchanging notes. There and then people start paying money on mobile money, even before seeing the goods. And I deliver the goods. But one thing as, that has ensured, has uh, enabled me to, to be in business up to now is honesty and to always give my customers quality. When somebody has ordered for something, I always ensure. I give them what they have ordered for. And if something is really bad, if I see an animal is sick, I will, I will not hesitate to advise my, my customer that, you know what, this goat is sick, I will not give it to you. Let me first treat it. When it's ready, I will deliver it to you. Like any other business, Grace's farm has been faced with a number of challenges. Uh, some of the challenges I've faced here, especially when I was, a st I was starting as a farmer, I used to have... Uh, a mortality rate, a high mortality rate for kids because my goats were still in a raised pen and what I hadn't realized that they would uh, hit themselves when in that pen and also the pneumonia coming from down underneath the goat pen it would affect the kids, most of the kids would, would die and to a farmer, when kids die that is one way of showing that you're not making progress in your goat farming and then the other challenge you're seeing it is dry all over Goats need water. We have an issue, a big challenge of water. Like you are seeing, the water is not so clean and it is scarce. We have just gotten water from out of the farm to bring it to the farm at the moment so the animals could have some water. Then the other challenge I faced, uh, we hardly get extension services at the farm. However much you try to look for them. Actually, some of us, we have decided to become extension workers other farmers in the within within around the farm because they are scarce and then the other challenge was uh, fake inputs and fake drugs on the market you can't tell you a new farmer you're a beginner you don't know which is good which is not good basically you end up buying all catalog of drugs and to know which is working which is not working actually a few minutes ago my husband has just told me the drug you bought, the injectable you bought for the worms, I think may not be working. I think we should revert to the previous 
the warmer we are using before because this one seems not to be helping. So chances are I either bought a, a, a fake drug or maybe we administered administer it wrongly in the wrong dosage. But if you had a vet around or somebody to guide us, we would may, maybe overcome some of those challenges, but we hardly get extension services, especially in this district. When we return on Seeds of Gold, Grace tells us why she has chickens on the farm. I started rearing local chicken because the other goat pen was, was abandoned.